I thought that's what I I just uh, about to film the last of the stuff. Yes. Well, I'm filming everybody here. I'm very happy I get to see you guys today. Thank you, Professor Nader. Oh, yeah. Now let's finish up what we've got. So here is a friend of mine's is a painting. As you can tell, this one looks pretty good. Here is the entire gallery of everything that everybody works for. It looks beautiful, especially like these two uh, pictures right here. I mean, I actually don't mind you know, these pictures also because, well, I am well, wanted to become a chef. Don't worry, we'll get back to it. I'm taking pictures as I go along. So here's a good one. Uh, one of my friends actually from another class apparently did this one. And, um, basically, it's like everything's all good in the end. So here we have a really, really wonderful painting. I'm taking pictures of her now, but anyway. Here's the bottom. Uh, this is created by Alexa. I recognize. And, um, one more time. So now we're getting to the statues. Now here's one of my friends, Daryl. Daryl created this uh, Klingon sculpture, which if you know about the Star Trek series, you know what the Klingons are supposed to be. Here's a bunny rabbit. Um, Demon spawn, which is actually interesting. And there, there is a kasune, which is actually a fox, for many people that don't know. And we have the Ixena. And I really love this particular thing right over here. I'll be getting photos later, but anyway. This, yeah, this is supposed to be Ganondorf, by the way. Ganondorf is actually part of the Legend of Zelda series, for those of you that don't know. Oh, here's some good paintings over here. Uh, and here's uh, this painting, created by Andriana. Uh, Kabang made this one, by the way. And now we have Alexa, once again, doing this particular picture, which is telling us where this is going. So now we have this thing, uh, which is created by Megan Hooper. I actually recognize Megan in some sense. I believe so. Here is all of our work from drawing number two. Oh, sorry about that. Drawing number two is actually interesting because uh, over here is pretty much artwork that my friends have worked on. Uh, the picture on the left that you see right here is actually my drawing of Bob and Dave, the models that we've always worked on. And here is my painting on the right, or in other words, my drawing. Uh, I actually based it off of my hands, which you could tell because I apparently did mostly stuff like this. As you can see pretty much, much when I was working on it, I always loved doing detail. And I still love doing details because apparently it will get to what we're going to be doing later on. I took pictures of this already, so here we are again, no less, featuring uh, pictures by Sarah and an unknown artist, but it looks pretty good. Here's one done by Sebastian Scholl and Marshawn, a very good friend of mine who did a fantastic skull. Okay, uh, and that's my. That's my friend, uh, Mike. This one is done by Isaiah on the left, Isaiah Finley, and Robert Neely on the right. Uh, anyway, so here is Ryan Logden and Devin Range for the left and right photos. And here's uh, some unknown pictures with Melody on the left. 
Uh, here's Chlorosa on the right. On the left is Ria. Uh, Devon Branch is on the left, and on the right is Melody. It's actually a very nice name. Elena, who is also a great friend of mine, you should check her out on Facebook, apparently made this picture on the right. I love the details of the seat. Because apparently the seat that she did here really looks fantastic. Uh, knowing how to do perspective correctly. Uh, Kristen Rogers is on on the right. I really like the fact that since we did have a male model, uh, the way that he did the rib cage really looks impressive. So here is a lot more. We have unknown ones with Lena doing the uh, foot poses. Here is Eric Carter. Uh, Eric Carter did these really fantastic. Um, what I like. It's called Zuni Brush, which apparently you can get basically online and stuff. And we have another one done by Eric Carter and another one done by Morshan. Uh, Morshan apparently couldn't be here right now, but he is awesome. Anyway, so here is Shamir Ali's Flamingo, which is fantastic. It was also used for when we did the charity, I believe. And here's his memories, uh, the painting of memories and such. And here we have Morgan. Morgan basically did this wonderful, I believe it's untitled, but I actually really, really like the way that apparently she did the clam, if I remember correctly. Here's another one of Morgan's uh, fabulous painting. Here's Kristen uh, Patel. Kristen, Kristen uh, Sean basically made this one. Uh, Shane Berger made this cute little uh, picture with the sheep and all, I believe. Uh, Jewel, Julie Payne did the swan, which you can tell is really beautiful. And uh, actually, I'm going to get some photos here. Okay. And now we're getting to the other, the other four. Wait a sec. I'm going to do a photo here. Just in case. So Kim Thompson made uh, Tango House. This is actually based off of a real place that she actually went to, basically. If I remember correctly, no less. It looks fabulous, especially the perspective of the whole thing. Kim also did this painting, which I believe is really good because it actually shows the definition of pretty much kind of like the Chuck Jones kind of Dr. Seuss-like backgrounds and stuff. I wish her the very best of luck. Same goes with Julie Payne. Julie Payne uh, did this painting called Blood Diamond. Uh, those are actually real actual dollars. No less for those that don't know. It looks fabulous in every single sense. And she did the peacock, which uh, actually that's uh, Malia, Malia uh, Kalana, uh, Kalanami. She basically did this painting of the ostrich. Or actually, it's not an ostrich. It's actually a um, peacock. Sorry. It's actually called Melis Memories, for those that don't know. Um, well, going back to here, no less, it's really wonderful. I love the bushy tails and such. It kind of reminds me of how uh, peacocks usually have that kind of innocence in some sense. Uh, here is Shane Kruger. Shane Kruger did what is called Touch. He, I think it was he or she. Anyway, basically, he did this really great painting of such. Here is uh, Spencer Welch's ducks, which actually looks exactly like how ducks should look like. Uh, Silver Benitez's whale. Now, apparently, she told me a story about this one basically being based off of, I think it was a death metal band or a metal band or something, but it looks fantastic. It looks like something that you usually see at, you know, a really interesting gallery. Just for a minute, I'll just take a picture of this. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Such a point. So we have Caitlin uh, Bixter's uh, fantastic blue painting, which I really love, and Mylia Kanali Tommy's flower, which is unfinished. Anyway, so we have Gina Aguilar's uh, Blinded by Nature Queen, which actually almost looks like Katy Perry, but it's not really Katy Perry, and she also is really blind. Personally, I really love this one as much as I love this one. Uh, this is actually the very first painting that we ever worked on. Or in other words, uh, one of the first paintings that 
we as a group in the uh, in both the art not art appreciation but it's painting one that we ever did and it looks fantastic uh caitlin bixer did this one it's called bottles on a blanket or in a blanket and it looks pretty good before we show mine off uh here is diana alec Khan's untitled it looks really fantastic in terms of the acrylic ink uh Kishin Gatson, who did modi digital and Kishun gets on Astro, which is looks pretty unique, I think in his own sense. That's really amazing. And here's uh, Kabang's control, which makes it makes pretty much big sense. So now um, before we start showing my things off, here's the Worthington uh, sculpture. Here's Winnie the Winnie the Pooh, aka Deadite Pooh, as for many people don't know who Deadites are. That's actually a reference to Evil Dead, combined with Winnie the Pooh in this sense. And I love the fact that the eyes are exactly similar to that in that way. Here is Tarzan's uh, white cell. And this is the Avatar bus. One on the right. It actually is very similar to how they used it in the movie a little bit. And here we are with Sinestro. Which uh, funny thing is, is that Sinestro usually is supposed to have no mustache, but apparently they got this right in some sense because usually he has a thick mustache. But the way they did it here kind of reminds me of Porky Pig in some sense. But it's really good in its own factor. Uh, Krieg from Borderlands, which is actually interesting because Borderlands is a mature ready game. Winter Soldier, which is if you watch Captain America or Cap or the new Captain America, you would actually love this character in every single sense. And I'm not going to spoil anything for that movie. Uh, over here is Andrew Sanders' Cyclops, which is not the Cyclops that you think of the X-Men in some sense. And I really love the design of it all. Chesar uh, Club did Kylo Ren White Cell. And on the right is Felix doing the mask featuring Jim Carrey, which is a nice little tribute to the absolute likeness of uh, the whole thing. So we have Alina. See, I didn't close the door. No. Yeah, Alina Blaise Cecil's uh, sculpture clay is really fantastic. And now we got Martin Hornets' mini bust, which is um, Jack I think it's called a Gigantopithecus. It's basically also, pretty much if you've ever seen the Jungle Book, they also mention a new line that was written by one of the Sherman brothers. Oh, and uh, up here we have the Crimson Chin, which many people may actually recognize because apparently he was also voiced by Jay Leno, who also had a ridiculously big chin. <laughs> kind of ironic, isn't it? And on the right is basically Beast from Beauty and the Beast, which basically that you might recognize from Disney. And we have Almost Cable, done by uh, Matt Giat. Cesar Clun did Crimson Chin Bust, and Brione Napier did the design of the beast. Uh, Bright also did, did this goat as well. So, and now we get to my paintings. And I have two stories to talk about with this one. Uh, we're starting with this one here, but in reality, let's go to this one. This is actually the, I believe it was my very third painting that I ever did. It's called CHC Medieval Club Rush. This is actually based off of the Club Rush we had a couple of months ago featuring the entire group of myself and my friends, no less, well, my anime clubs before. Basically, I went into all these clubs and such, and I did, <coughs> usually I take a lot of pictures, one of which is a picture of this, no less, where they actually were doing it for the medical thing, and I just love that on the truck, the truck that you see in the background, it actually looks like a knife, but um, when I did the picture, basically it was actually a cheese truck, or in other words, a cheese sandwich uh, truck, that you could get some sandwiches and such. They were pretty expensive. 
But yeah, it really looks fantastic because it's everything that I always dreamed of in terms of what I needed to do with this painting. And now we get to the masterpiece, uh, none other than um, that I actually like to consider to be my biggest uh, stardom to the beginning. It's called My Entire Gang. This features the following characters on the left from right. On top, it's Ratchet. On bottom, it's Kirby, which is the pinky fellow right here. We have Judy Hopps from Zootopia in Zoom Zoom form. We also have the leopard. Uh, I'm trying to remember the fat leopard's name, no less, from Zootopia. I have Alice on the top, basically waving, saying, you know, no. We have one of my crystals. I actually call this this orange bright light yellow stone, or in this case, orange orange yellow shine in some sense. It doesn't really have truly a name yet, but I will get it sometime or later. Anyway, um, you have the Autotopia, or in other words, I think that was this Tomorrowland uh, plushie that I got from Disneyland. I was trying to look for the Dumbo one at one point. We have on the top my main hero. In other words, one of my biggest creations that I've made since 2005. He's a little shattered, but his name is Crystal. Yeah, this is awesome! All right, that's no, no way. I need to actually tell you something. At this point, uh, right here we have uh, Violet Beauregard. We have, uh, okay, that's enough. Uh, no, no, I got this. We have um, Waddle Dee. Yeah, Waddle Dee. We also have none other than than this fellow right here, which is Pichu and Minun. I got that one right. Did I get it right? Yes, Crystal. Okay, we got basically this. Turtle, that's Mr. Turtle. Yeah, oh yeah, that is Mr. Turtle. He's looking good. Yes, that's original crystal. Now, will you stop letting me have to hold you and no less and actually have me try to commentate? No, I'm actually excited. So here is uh, Foxy. No, that's not Foxy. Pirate Fox from Five Nights at Freddy's. That's Nick Wilde. Oh, sorry. Let me get my dictionary. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Larion, which is what we have here, and then we also have, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Crystal, that would be Bayamax. Yeah, I like that, that fellow. He's very fluffy. Yeah, the, you actually have a plushie of him at this point. I certainly we do, thank you very much. Also, your camera is very blurry. Can I check? I think, oh, thank you. Okay, it's fixed. You didn't do much. Of course I know. I was just messing with you. Okay, that's enough at this point. All right, and this little girl is Joy. It's Joy from Inside Out. So you did a picture of all of us, didn't you? What? Odd. Yep, I did, as a tribute to you guys, because apparently these were my favorite characters, and not to mention I am going to be doing an expansion version of it. Of this? Yes. Nice. Apparently, I gotta ask, but I gotta check some other things out. Say hey, yeah. Okay, that's that's my dear little friend Crystal, ladies and gentlemen. I regret nothing. Okay, that's enough of you, Crystal. All right. So apparently, as you may have guessed it, he I was just holding right then and there because apparently he cannot fly right now. But alas, this is. Pretty much my main painting, you could tell, because I have Kirby right there, Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank, and mostly my other characters. And that's about it. So, let me flip around. Yeah, and... Uh, yep, it's recording. And that's it. That's all the gallery I wanted to show you, you at this point. I will be taking photos and such as soon as I possibly can. But I'll be transferring it everything from here, from where we are actually are at this point, to pretty much much everywhere else. At this point in time, I'd like to thank you for actually watching. My name is Jonathan Thomas Patterson. I did some paintings here, and I'm basically very happy I got to paint with my dear friends. No less, it was a great year for painting, and not to mention I may be able to become one of the biggest you know, artist or something. I'm not ego boosting myself, but I am actually saying I may be able to become a big, you know, artist someday. 
or not. But this is a great start. Now, um, if you excuse me, I got to get some lunch and I got to charge my phone. So thank you so much. Have a nice day. And, and yeah. And there's the exit. Oh, there is one more thing I would like to get as a photo, and it's this sea shunt. Uh, let me just take some pictures. And that's about that's about it. Um, and thank you for actually watching my art student exhibition. Hey, Mike. <laughs> thank you. And thank you so much. Have a nice day.